And now, NBC3 Sports, awarded Best Sportscast by the New York State Broadcasters Association. There may be no postseason for the Orange, but in the first game back in the Dome since the self-imposed ban, there was certainly a postseason feel. Good evening, I'm Katie Williams. Number four Duke came into the Dome tonight once again in front of a sold-out crowd. And maybe that home court advantage helped the Orange hang tough with the Blue Devils. There's that crowd we were talking about. Otto's Army has been prepping for this one for over a week now, and so had the Orange. Syracuse came out to play in the second half, starting with Rakeem Christmas. There he is with the block on Jaleel Okafor early on. But the real difference maker in the first half, Michael Benege, the former Blue Devil, hitting his fifth three there, puts SU up 34-23. Now, though, in the second half, Duke would get back into this one with the help of Jaleel Okafor. This bucket gives Duke the lead early on in the second. And more from the freshman phenom. Here he is with the slam, putting Duke up by 11 with 10 minutes to play. Syracuse, though, still hanging around at the end of this one. Christmas gets a dunk of his own here under the hoop. Pull the orange within five with 38 seconds left, but that's as close as SU could get. Duke wins 80 to 72. Despite the loss, two orange players had career nights. Michael Benege had 27 points, including five three pointers. And Tyler Roberson posted his first double double of his career 19 points and 10 assists. Julia Okafor came up big for Duke, though, with his 10th double double of the season. After the game, Coach Beheim said he's the best player in college basketball. A problem area for the Orange once again was the charity stripe. SU went just 6 for 13. So Syracuse couldn't get the upset over Duke, but there were quite a few other upsets in the ACC. Wake Forest nearly took down number 2 UVA, but the Cavs held on to win 61-60. However, down in Kentucky, it was a different story. Now, the Orange's next opponent, Louisville, falls to NC State at home tonight. The Cardinals could only muster 13 points in the paint. NC State had five of their last six before tonight's 74-65 win. The Orange also still has the Wolfpack left on the schedule. But that wasn't the only upset in the ACC today. Pitt absolutely dominated number 12, UNC, on their home court. The Panthers shot 65% in the 89-76 win. SU has another chance at Pitt on Saturday in the Carrier Dome. And moving over to the ice, the month of February has not been kind to the Crunch. Syracuse fell 2-1 to one to Norfolk last night. The Crunch scored early on, but then the Admirals tied things up on a power play in the second period. Ultimately, it would take overtime to decide this one. It's the third OT contest the Crunch have lost this month. Despite not having a win yet, Syracuse is holding on to first place in the Northeast Division. They've got a four-point lead over Springfield. Coming up at 11, we'll hear what Coach Beheim had to say about the team's upcoming schedule. I'm Katie Williams, and that's your look at sports.